Hi guys, it's Miss Ellen from Hopes, and I'm with Jaden, my best girl. So let's start today with the feelings check-in. JJ, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling excited. Oh yeah? Because on Wednesday, we're going to watch a movie and do face masks and do nails. Awesome. And when you're excited, that makes me really happy. Um, so that always makes me feel better when I'm with you too. So I'm glad you're here today. Um, today we want to talk about something else that's really important, listening um, and being a good listener right? Um, what does that mean to you? Well, it means that someone that someone or something is always there for you. They listen to your problems and they try to help you mm. with your problems. Got it. Okay. So somebody who's a helper and really cares and listens. Yeah. Do you ever try to tell somebody something and you feel like they're not listening? Yes. So, okay, I'm looking at your face. How does that, how does that feel? Well, it makes me feel very mad so you do not like that. Yeah, it, makes, uh -huh. it also makes me feel very cranky. <laughs> okay. And so. it also makes me feel really frustrated. So you're trying to get something across and, and somebody's just yeah. either not getting you or not there for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, how about, have there been times where you've been trying to speak and somebody, you felt like somebody's really listening to you? Yes. And how does that feel? Well, that makes me feel um, happy. Mm-hmm. It makes me feel very loved, you know, and it also makes me feel very grateful to have them. So it's a much better feeling. Yes. So somebody's there for you and really kind of gets you and, and yeah. is there with you and helps you. Yeah. Awesome. I know. Um, all right. So we're going to read a book then today about, I have a little problem, said the bear. So this is a good one because, you know. We talked about problem solvers the other day, and this is something that's really important. So let's see what happens here. I have a little problem, said the bear. You see? Of course, said the inventor. I know exactly what you need. A heavy bed like you needs something to make him feel lighter. I have just the thing. And he got a pair of wings from mm. his workshop and fastened them to the bear's shoulders. Huh? Hmm said the bear. He shrugged and then he went along and he looked worried. Hmm. I have a little problem, said the bear. You see... Indeed I do, said the tailor. Your wings are very handsome, but you need a scarf. And he wound a long scarf around the bear's neck. Hmm, said the bear. He shrugged and then went on his way looking worried. I don't think he's very happy. I don't think they're hearing him, do you? No. I have a little problem, said the bear. You... I'm just the man you are looking for, said the hatter. Now, don't say that. I have just the thing for you. And he placed a fine hat on the bear's head. You have a very <laughs> big head. <laughs> said the bear. Then he shrugged and walked away looking worried. I have a little problem, said the bear. I can tell that just by looking at you, said the doctor. <laughs> My special vitamins will have you fit as a fiddle in no time. He handed the bear a box of vitamins. Take one every morning. Hmm, said the bear, shrugged. On and along his way, looking worried. I have a little, said the bear. Problem, said the street, street vendor. vendor. But I have a cure. This little charm will bring you good luck wherever you go. And he hung a pig <laughs> charm on the chain around the bear's neck. <laughs> said the bear and he shrugged and went away looking worried. I have a, said the bear. Well, I can see you have a problem, said the eye doctor. That is why I am here. She placed a pair of glasses on the bear's nose. Now, isn't that better? Hmm, said the bear. Then he shrugged his shoulders and went along looking worried. I have, said the bear. A little problem, said the shopkeeper. Well, never you worry, my dear. This honey will sweeten up your life 
in no time. And she handed the bear a jar of honey. Hmm, said the bear. Then he shrugged his shoulders and went along looking worried. I don't think he's feeling it. I, said the bear. You have a problem, said the shoemaker. You need a boot. She pulled out a pair of boots from a box. Uh, a real bear needs real bear boots, she said. And these are the best bear boots I have. Perfect fit. <sighs> hmm, said the bear. Then he shrugged his shoulders and went along, looking worried. At the top of the hill, the bear stopped. He looked over the town and shook his head. <sighs> he was worn out. Those people just didn't get him. <sighs> then, What's the matter? asked a fly on a blade of, blade of grass behind him. I don't want to talk about it, said the bear. No one listens to me anyway. I'm listening. <sighs> Tell me about it. I have a little problem, said the bear. You see, I'm afraid of the dark all alone in my cave. There are no other bears for miles around, and I don't know anyone who wants to sleep in my cave with me. I dread the darkness all day long. How do you think that feels? Bad. Yeah. That's really a problem, said the fly. But I have a solution. I just so happen that I'm looking for somewhere to live. A bear's cave sounds very cozy. I could move in with you. What do you say? Hmm, said the bear. I feel better already. So the fly hopped on the bear's shoulders where she made herself comfortable. Then they went off together and looked happy. Oh, the end. So, so who listened to the bear? Fly. What did everybody else do? They said, oh, you have a problem, uh -huh, and then they gave him things that he didn't need. So they really weren't listening, and they just kind of jumped to the, to the other stuff that yeah. they thought would work? Yeah. And did that help them? No. So the fly helped, and how did the fly help? Well, he listened to his problem and helped give him a solution. So when somebody really listened, they were able to help the other one and feel better. You know, and don't forget, if you've got a problem with somebody else, you can use... Our solution toolkit. Right. Uh, but in this case, the bear had a problem himself, and he was looking for some help. So if you guys, if you have a problem, please go talk to a brother, a sister, a mom, a dad, your teachers, um, one of the people in the office, one of us. But just reach out when you need some help. Um, but we can all practice our listening. I know I, know I can work on that, too. Um, but here are some things that you can do to practice being a good listener. Do you remember this song, Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes? Oh yeah, but you've got to listen and pay attention and do it right, right? Yeah. So another thing that you can do at home to practice listening is Simon Sets, right? So you've got to pay attention to that. Do you want to do a quick one or you're over it? Sure. Um, Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, pat your head. Simon says, clap. Put your hands on your feet. Oh, see, you're a good listener, JJ and paying attention. So you guys can practice that at home and work on listening skills. And I know Jane's gonna be working with me on my listening skills too. So don't forget, if you have a problem, get someone to help you. We're all here for you. We totally miss you. Um, and take care, hang tough, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye.